What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Apologies for not posting up uh, videos recently. Um, just I haven't been in a mood so just couldn't really be bothered. But I'm going to make a vlog today of a uh, trip to the Mint. So we're just locking the door now. We're going to leave the house. It's a short journey. We got Daryl from 375, 375, Productions. 375 Productions who's coming with us and we're going to meet Christopher Grossi and a few of the other Dingleberries at the mint, but look how beautiful it is today. Absolutely stunning. Until the next one. So, as you can see, we're on the home stretch now. The mint is just up in front of us on the left. Hopefully, the camera's not wobbling around like there's nobody's business. Hopefully, a few of the stragglers are already here Christopher, Grossi, Dave, Paul. But we're we'll, there. Uh, We'll have a look when we get in here now. Let's put the indicator on. Let a few of them know that we're uh, just got here. I can see Grossi's car. Oh, I see. Yeah, so uh, we're in here, so uh, we'll pick it up when we get back outside. As you can see, this is the entrance. My favourite part. Walking down the uh, the pathway and over the bridge. I mean, it's a beautiful day in sunny Wales. Should need to buy a gimbal, yeah. but they're so bloody expensive. Here's the bridge. You can see that the water level is quite low today. Normally all those bricks are covered, especially on a big rainy day. Kreuzer, welcome. My favorite part, walking in over the bridge that is. The rest is downhill. I'm gonna jump. I wonder if uh, Gromit is back. The pooch. Yeah, they, they, they took all the beds away and they put uh, new stuff in. It's all hiding, probably. Here's the pooch. And we'll pick it up when we're back inside. Just come into the, the main room now. We're just waiting to to go on. Dave's hiding. Yes. Won't be long. So we've bumped into Christopher Clex, and uh, the question I'd like to ask you is what keeps you coming back to the Mint each time? Um, getting the new strike roads is, is obviously quite exciting because it changes so often. Uh, and of course, seeing some of my friends, other people that make videos, uh, subscribers, things like that, it's a great day out. And I learned some, I've learned some two things for you this video, uh, this video, this trip. Can you uh, fill us in on those two new things? I will, over on my YouTube channel. Christopher Clex. So you've got to check him out over <laughs> on Christopher Clex. Thank you so much. <laughs> so as you all know, this is Grossi from Grossi Coin Hunts. Uh, and a question I'm going to be asking a few of the coin tubers is, what keeps you coming back to the mint each time? 
seeing everyone, getting the new strike your own, and buying new coins. Do those three things. Cool. Thank you very much. And how's, how did the operation go? All good? All good, thank you. Excellent. It is a bit sore, but it's, uh, it's healing well. <laughs> Great stuff. So we've also bumped into Mr. Jibble, who has a YouTube channel who mainly, like and subscribe. mainly does error coins. So the question I have posed to you is, what keeps you coming back to the Mint? Um, just bumping into it when I get, really. Um, and of course getting the strike your own. Um, yeah. And spending lots of money? Not really, not today. <laughs> not today? No, unless there's any good juicy errors on sale, but I uh, doubt it. So if you do want to subscribe, Mr. Jibble, have a look at him on, e on uh, e I was gonna say eBay. Have a look at him on uh, YouTube. <laughs> Ciao. See you there, so we've also bumped into Daryl from 375 Productions, and the question I pose to you is, what keeps you coming back to the mint each time? Get the strikes, but it's mainly to see everyone coming down to Wales. Wales is really beautiful, and it's the only opportunity I get, so that's pretty much why. And the strike is a bonus. Cool. Thank you very much. Ciao. Bye. So, bumped into Smithy. Uh, Smithy, uh, quite a while back, gave a few of us coin tubers coins, and I have a 2016 Peter Rabbit in gold plated that's in my album that's still there that you'll see in most videos. So, this is where the coin came from. So, what I want to ask you, Smithy, is what keeps you coming back to the mint every time? Um, there's always something new, yeah. and come to be old friends, I guess. And spend lots of money. And spend lots of money. And you'll be back next time. I'll be back at some point soon. Cool. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers. So we've just finished the tour for the day. Everyone's waiting to go home, but we've got this one chip challenge that Daryl from 375 Productions is gonna do. We have the milk ready. Hopefully that's enough. If not, tough. <laughs> so away we go.
Good. Right, go on then, just, just, just do it. Use the whole thing. Is it stale? Yeah. Oh, no. It's like. It's not going to work, it's is soft. it? Soft. It's not going to work, is it? No. I can't feel it. This time. Hmm? Am I mad at you? Have I gone red? Is it working? It is spicy. My heart has started racing. Oh, oh God. Keep trying. Do you want that little bit? There's a little bit left. Oh, there's oh, the hiccups, yeah. Little bit. Hiccups have started. Hang on. Oh, no, come back. I need some milk. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you're not allowed milk. You're not allowed milk for five minutes. No, it's a minute. It's a minute. How long have I been going already? 30 seconds. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, your car. Oh. Is it that bad? It is spicy. It's not like it wasn't going to be. I can feel it here. <laughs> <laughs> Rub your eyes. You can have no, the, yeah. you can have the milk wherever you want. Get the two. No, no. You can have the milk wherever you want. No, I'm gonna. I'm telling you, it's worse on the throat than the tongue. On a scale to 1 to 10, 10 being like hot, what is it? No one else can drink that milk now. <laughs> what is it? It is painful. It's painful. Is it, pain is it really hot? Mm -hmm. On a scale of 1 being cold and hot being the hottest thing ever. Yeah. It's 10. <laughs> <laughs> you should have had some. If you're not drinking it loads, you. Mm -hmm. If you keep drinking that milk, you're going to be sick if you drink it. To be fair, it's on my what, tongue. only a pint? Because I open it with yeah. my mouth. How much is it? Like, you're right on the end of the tongue as well. It's so painful here. It's painful in my throat. Did you see the tear come down? He saw his chin down the tear. <laughs> Throw up in your friend. Billy Big Balls Grossy's gonna have a go now. So, yeah, have a good sniff. Even just, even if you just break, no, not a, like a little bit, just half. <laughs> Shaking already. <laughs> Is that a lot? Is that not? No, go on. <laughs> Come on. I can do all of that. I can't do all of that. <laughs> Honestly, I just licked it. His face is literally going crazy, isn't it? That is hot. That is just do the one little bit then, you shandy. No, you're all right. Back. The thing is, Grossi doesn't have any drink to drink. He's um, vegan, so he can't drink milk. I don't know how you did the full thing. <laughs> it's like, it, it's really, and it's in the back of the throat. You always like it down the side though, don't you? No, it's fine. If it gets no worse, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, finish it off then. No. I'll buy you McDonald's if you finish it. You don't get any more, you know. You've hit, you've hit the spike now. It's worse now than what it was
it's so bad. Well, as you can see, I'm home now. The fire's on. I'm just about to put my feet up and watch some snooker. So I hope you've all enjoyed it. Uh, and I'll put another video up whenever I feel like it. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra!